Federal officers streamed into more than a dozen apartments on the hunt for evidence. It's their biggest crackdown so far against so-called maternity tourism, package deals for pregnant Chinese women so they can give birth to American babies. That's not illegal. Making false visa claims is. These people were told to lie, how to lie, so that their motives for coming to the U.S. wouldn't be questioned. In the fancy palm-lined suburbs on the edge of L.A. County, a local lawyer has been leading the search for maternity hotels. This is one here that has been uh, reported in, in a formal complaint to the city council. Uh, they're essentially maternity motels where they rent out three to four rooms in the home um, to pregnant women that are coming from China and giving birth to get the dual citizenship. And there's a few in this, this just one little estate here? Yeah, three and just a couple yards from one another. We knocked at one of the places she identified. Hello, sir. Hi there. The residents didn't want to go on camera, but confirmed friends had come, paid to stay here, and had their babies in order to get an American passport. Neighbors noticed many different pregnant women staying in one house. And what I've kind of seen, that it's, they're just here for a brief time till they have children, and then they leave, and then within the same day, other families move in. Mm. So I think they're circumventing our, our, our legal process to become citizens and, and to use some of the benefits this country provides. So don't think it's right. And this building is often the first port of call. Every week, dozens of Chinese women with newborn babies come here to get American passports for their children. Few families wanted to be identified, but said their motivation was China's one-child policy. I want to hear to uh, deliver a baby because uh, in China uh, don't allow to uh, have a second baby. The U.S. Uh, passport is not important. Others admitted the lure of citizenship was strong. Having an American passport, she said, he can make his own choice in the future about where and how to live when he's an adult. New mothers coming to the U.S. brings the local government many benefits, she said. It's not a burden, it's mostly a benefit. But undercover agents have been investigating three named individuals for more than a year and are trying to close a loophole in the law. Alistair Leithhead, BBC News, Los Angeles.